the Gulf, home to some of the world's fastest growing cities. But as the population soars, so does the need for water. And in this harsh desert climate, fresh water is a scarce and valuable resource. So how does a desert go from this to this? And where does the water come from that people drink, that air conditions their homes, and that transforms the sands? The answer lies in the sea and with desalination plants like this one here in Qatar. There are estimated to be 12,500 of these plants in operation worldwide. The Gulf countries surround a shallow pool of water with little circulation. And with the ever-growing number of desalination plants operating in the region, the risk of pollution is high. Desalination have a lot of uh, negative environmental impacts, especially on marine environment. It's very costly, it's very energy intensive also, but uh, it's a must for the Gulf regions. And we are witnessing the uh, massive deaths of fish. I think when the marine environment change, like temperature change, salinity change, any, any, any change in the normal marine life, it causes damage for some of the uh, marine fish or marine biodiversity in general. Desalination plants use different ways to extract salt from seawater, but all of them produce a waste product called brine. This is mostly hot, salty water, but also contains chemicals, and the majority of it is pumped straight back into the sea. Here in Qatar, the government says it's doing all it can to minimise the damage. We are also controlling the rejected water from the desalination plant. We make it uh, or we dilute it to a certain amount and then we control also the temperature before they reject it to the, back to the sea again. But the volumes of brine are huge, not helped by water being so heavily subsidised, for some more than others. Even though the Qatar is here, uh, they get the water with the, you know, uh, free of charge, but that doesn't mean that we can really waste the water. In fact, most locals in the Gulf region get their water for free, with the governments picking up the bills. We are now seeing a few conservation initiatives, with Abu Dhabi and Dubai both charging increased rates for high water usage. But again, the locals are exempt. Water conservation clearly has a long way to go. The key issue now is how to preserve the environment whilst quenching the thirst of an ever-increasing population. Steph Golter, Al Jazeera, Doha.